Okay, hello everyone. This is Casey from Web Buddy. So in this video, I want to share with you how you can add additional CSS coding to the theme 2024. Okay, what you are looking at right now is the latest template or we call theme from WordPress 6.4. So if you install WordPress 6.4.1, which is the latest version of WordPress at the time of this recording, you will see by default this theme being showed in your website. And for many, many years, I have never seen a theme that is so comprehensive that now um, almost anyone can use this theme to build a local business website, to build a blog, to build a photography uh, website. So this theme is very versatile as compared to the previous years of themes released by the official WordPress uh, team. Okay, so I just want to show you uh, very quickly, by default, if you go to other, if you install other theme or other WordPress uh, template, when you go to appearance, and you can see there's a customize option here. So when you click on customize, and at the bottom, there's additional CSS. So you click on additional CSS and you will be able to enter any amount of CSS coding here to change or edit your website appearance via CSS. But in 2024 theme, this one, in the back end, when we go to appearance, there is no customize. So this becomes an issue for most new WordPress users. They do not know where they can enter any additional CSS coding. So a tip on how to access that page is that we go into edit the URL. So this is the dashboard URL WP dash admin slash and at the back you just need to add in customize dot php. So add in customize dot php and click enter. And then you will see this option appear. So click on additional CSS. Okay. So for now, just for demo purposes, I just want to enter a very simple coding. This is a CSS coding to hide a content under this class name called hide content. Okay, so I'm going to publish and close this tab and go back to dashboard and let's go to pages and let's create a simple page over here okay so we click on add new page give the page a title let's call it home and click publish publish okay so once it has been published we can add a page template over here i will share with you more about how these templates over here are in my future video for now i just want to show you how the additional css uh, works okay okay so now this is the a page template that will be displayed on my home page so now i scroll down just now I've entered additional CSS. The purpose is to hide some content. So let's say I want to hide this newsletter. Okay, I just want to hide this newsletter thing. Okay, an easier way of selecting this row is that you can use the navigator at the side here. So when I click on this column, it means that this is selected. When I click on this column, it means that this is selected. So I want to hide this thing using the just now the CSS coding that I've entered. So I give this uh, division a name, hide content, which is just now the coding that I've entered in the CSS uh, section, which means that any class that named hide content, the display will be none. So this will not be shown. Okay, so I click update. And I let's go to view the page. So when we scroll down, now you can see that the newsletter is hidden. Okay, so that's how you can enter additional CSS coding 
in the WordPress 2024 team. I hope that you find this video useful. Uh, keep a lookout for my future 2024 teams uh, usage and tutorial. I'll see you then. Thank you.